I want to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Merkah, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this video. This is a follow up video from the video I posted, that news clip. Uh, it happened in Nevada with his family. If you haven't seen the clip, you can watch it or, you know, there's many different outlets, CNN, different people talking about it. Okay. And uh, basically in the clip, it shows a chariot uh, descending downwards, okay, that the police witnessed. So when they came to the scene of the house, the police confirmed that they saw it too. And uh, the young man in the video, I think is is a car, I'm not sure. They're starting to describe that in the backyard where they said landed, they saw 10 feet, 8 to 10 feet being standing there. You know, that was very shiny or they said they had shiny eyes. Now, he did say that they look like aliens and he said certain things that's a little suspect. But uh, let's try to cover the facts real quick in this quick lesson. Oh, and also, too, one thing that happened is that when it descended down, there was a big boom. OK, that uh, somebody's ring cam caught it and the neighbors confirmed it that they heard the big boom. Because they tried to say that the UFO crash. Let me tell you now, the angels don't crash, the chariots don't crash, they don't crash, man. They're perfect. Okay, cars crash. Okay, but the angels and the chariots do not crash. But there was still a boom. So let's go into Matthew chapter 28, okay? Because I'm going to show something that's similar in the scriptures. Okay, so let's start from verse 1. Matthew 28, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. So in the video, you see the, the chariot descending downwards. Okay, just like I'm reading. Okay, and what did it say at the beginning? And behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. Okay, so the angels descended down. Okay, and they appeared, man. Okay, they appeared in their likeness as they descended down with the earthquake. Okay, so that is similar to what we see on the video online with the angel descending down. All right, and the door ring bell catches it. Okay, so just want to make that point. Verse 3, his countenance was like lightning, and his remnant was white as snow. Okay, so lightning is very bright. Okay, and that snow is very bright. Okay, that's a certain white, man. You got white and you got like snow white, which is like a sparkly, glowy type of white. Okay, so he did mention that his eyes, okay, or the being's eyes that he saw were glowing. Okay. Now, with that being said, you have it where not too much after uh, they said certain black trucks and I guess whoever, the FBI, or whatever, was questioning their family. And people online were asking, well, why come you don't have video? If he saw, why come he didn't take video? Well, then they said, well, we got some video footage. OK, but it hasn't been released yet or they didn't release it, the family. Now they're saying, because I'm keeping up with this, I'm watching different videos and keeping up, you know. They're saying that they don't know what the family's at, really. It's been quiet over there uh, because they've been watching it. They've been watching the house pretty much. And they're saying the lights haven't been turned on. Now, how would you know that if you haven't been watching the house? So now they're watching the house. Okay. All this is happening, man, right now, man. Okay. And you got certain people on the news like, man, I don't know, like in a, like in a nervous way. And you got others joking about it like they always do. OK, so this is what's going on. But like I just read in the scriptures, the angels descended down. Now, think about this. If there was a boom, which it was a boom. OK, uh, that was proven. OK, but if it was a crash, like they say, or they tried to say, where is the UFO debris of the crash? Because that's a boom. So something got to be broken up somewhere. OK, only thing they show you from up top is uh, the circle or whatever a type of circle shape where the family's saying that's where the, the 
UFO landed. That's what they saying. Okay, so we obviously know it wasn't a crash. Okay, but we've been saying this for a long time. The men of the Lord of GMS for a long time, okay, from Apostle to Hall on down, about the chariots, breaking down the chariots, going through the scriptures, okay, within detail, man, okay, and different accounts, all right? And also we've been saying for a long time as we get closer to the end, we're going to see more and more manifestation of the chariots, man, okay? We don't know what's going to happen in the mix between now and how it shall return with the chariots in full effect and with the angels. Okay, a chariot could pop up real big and just post up in the, in the sky for a whole three days. And it's all on the news and we like, what the hell? And it don't move and everybody nervous. It can do that and then disappear randomly. They can do that, man. So we know through the spirit that things will be manifest more and more and more strange sightings, okay, is going to manifest more and more. Okay, but I will give updates on this story Okay, as it continues, because they're still investigating it. And they're saying now they don't know where the family's at. But before I go, let's make this point. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 1. I read verse 4. Okay. And I did a lesson on this while back, going into the details of the colors of the chariots, even though the chariots is beyond. I mean, they can they can come in all kinds of forms, but as the scriptures say, let's read. Verse 4, Ezekiel chapter 1. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, talking about the chariot, and a fire enfolding in itself, and a brightness was about it. Okay? And out of the mixture of, as the color of amber, out of the mix of the fire. Okay? So we know, also when you read Psalms chapter 104, I think it's third verse, the angels, the ministers, are as flaming fire. So we know, it's like a lamp, fire, coal-like, burning coal, amber-like color. Okay? Which you can see that in that video. Now, in the video, in other videos, you'll see that emerald green, bluish green color. Okay? But that's for a reason. So, let me skip down to verse 16 in this chapter. It says, The appearance of the wheels and the work was like unto the color of Burrell. Okay, and when you look at the color of Burrell, okay, it's like an emerald greenish color, okay, with a little blue in it, you know, but it's that green, that vibrant emerald green Burrell, you know, that's what Burrell is, even though you got other stones that they'll say it's Burrell, that could be red, that could be this, but the main of the Burrell, okay, the head I would say, that's the emerald green, okay, with maybe some blue tint in but that green color, that emerald type color. Okay, you see that in these different sightings like that. Okay, it's moving. Okay, and it has that greenish blue glow with that fire tail. Okay, so even in Ezekiel, it breaks it down. Okay, so we know that's a chariot, that's an angel descending downwards. We know that a, a, a certain explosion happened. Because the door cam, and you can find the video on YouTube, the door cam caught it. And the neighbors confirmed it. Okay, that's why I went to Matthew chapter 28 and broke it down. Because when it happened then, the angels appeared when it hit the ground and they moved the stone. Okay, so did he see an 8 to 10 foot being according to him? Hey, I mean, there's a lot of weird things happening after the fact. Okay, a lot of weird things taking place and and now they don't know where the family's at and people want the footage of this. They say he caught footage and so that's what's going on right now, man. But like I said, man, we these type of things, man, gives us more hope. We understand that Yahweh Bashim Shai exists and we understand that the chariots is how we're going to be saved. Okay, so we know moving forward, getting closer and closer to Jacob's trouble, more sightings are going to happen. More strange signs, okay? And simultaneously, Esau is going to be moving towards what? His enterprise, the beast system, AI, is going to be pushed more and more, all the way to the mark. Okay, so all these things are going to be happening simultaneously. Okay, you got the left hand, you got the right hand. 
And we understand that Yahweh Bashem Abishah controls it all. Okay, but those different sides exist. Left and the right. Okay, so it's about to get crazier and crazier and crazier. But I will keep you updated, Lord willing, maybe with a part three of some information. Uh, the Spirit got me staying on this story, so I'll make sure I have some updates, Lord willing, as they occur. So with that, I hope you're edified. I want to give our praises and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kudash, forgive me the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the Elder Great Millstone. And shalom to you, Akamath, that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.